Hello DC fans, it's Tim here. Today we're going to be doing another episode of DC Speculations. Today's episode is on Harley Quinn issue number zero, a new monthly series that will be starting in November. So, on the topic of Harley Quinn, we know that ever since the new 52, she's been, in, she's been getting a lot of spotlight for the DC universe, such as her starring in Suicide Squad and now her own series. She's starting to get more popular than the proud Prince of Crime himself. So, personally, um, honestly, I'm going to be picking this, this up and reviewing it, and I love how we're getting lots of spotlight on Harley Quinn, but as you can see in the picture, we do get to see the Joker's face in the background, so I'm not going to be saying we won't be seeing the Joker at all in this Harley Quinn series, but we do know that the Joker is at least missing, if not dead, after the death of the family incident, so we don't know how we'll be seeing the Joker portrayed in this, but... I'm hope hopefully we can eventually see a Joker appearance appearance in this, but if he's going to appear in this, then he'll probably end up appearing in a future Batman storyline or you know Batman related storyline. So I'll get into a um, topic I want to talk about later. But right now it says, but will any of them measure up to the exciting standards of the Clown Prince of Crime? Don't miss the thrilling return of Harley Quinn in her own monthly series. So that's all the description says. And it looks like we'll be getting some good illustrators and artists, so that's always good. And anyway, on Harley Quinn issue number zero, I guess they're starting on issue zero, because as you can see in the picture, Harley Quinn and the Joker face in the background looks pretty young. I mean, that does not look like the Harley Quinn or the Joker we've been seeing in the New 52 in Suicide Squad and Death of the Family. So my guess is we'll be seeing issue number zero, uh, origin of Harley Quinn and the Joker first meeting. But I guess they'll pick up issue number one, where wherever Harley Quinn is in the 52. So, um, I don't know how they're really going to base this. I don't know if Harley Quinn's going to be more of a anti-hero. Because, like, in the Suicide Squad, she is... She's not a hero, but she's sort of, like, an anti-hero. So, I don't know how they're going to really do that in the, um... Like, in this, in this uh, series. I don't know if they're going to do it, like... Okay, so this is a villain series or a superhero series. You know, it's kind of difficult. But anyway, one thing I want to talk about is how could this Harley Quinn series tie into Batman series? See, what they could do is, okay, let's say they're going to bring the Joker back in Batman, Batman and Robin, or whatever Batman series they want to bring it into. They could do, like, before the, like, cause, like let's say for the death of the family, before the Joker is setting up, like, his plan for, like, the death of the family and his overall, like, what he wants to do for the Batman what he could do is they could explain him prepping, I guess, for the process in this series. Now, that might sound stupid, but what I'm trying to say is, like, okay, before we get to see the huge the huge next Joker storyline, a month before that, in Harley Quinn, just a random number, issue number 10, we get to see Joker meeting with Harley Quinn saying, I got something big planned for the Bats family. So, you know, I, thought, I think that would be pretty interesting, seeing more of the Joker behind the scenes. But this is a Harley Quinn series, so I guess we'll be seeing Harley Quinn behind the scenes, too. But personally, I think as we get farther into this series, we're going to be probably knowing a lot more about Harley Quinn than the Joker. The reason why they're probably doing a Harley Quinn series and not a Joker series is because the Joker is so popular himself, and just so, like, everyone loves the Joker, they don't want to overdo it and just add his own monthly series. But no one is, like, obsessed with Harley Quinn. So what they can do is have a Harley Quinn series but not add the Joker into it every every issue because like if they just make a Joker if they made the Joker an average villain and just added him in more and more issues he wouldn't be as popular they like to spread him out that's why I like in Death of the Family I don't know what next time we'll be seeing the Joker it could be a year it could be two years it could be five years but we get to see Harley Quinn every month to let us know that the Joker's you know, family, I guess you could say, is still alive. Like, we get, we still get to feel that Jokerness in us through the Harley Quinn series without knowing the Joker's there. So, they don't want to overdo the Joker and add him, ha add him in too much. So, that's probably the reason why they're doing the Harley Quinn series and not, like, a separate Joker series. But then again, I love Harley Quinn, especially in the uh, Batman animated series, as you can see on the screen, that little clip there that's probably replaying. Well... She, probably, she actually started in there. It's kind of amazing how, like, she just started an animated series and built up to her own monthly series. Only, I think, ten years after. And in between that, we still get to see her in Suicide Squad, Suicide Squad where she is the main role. So, 
That's the last topic I want to talk about is how will this series affect Suicide Squad. Now I do read the issues of Suicide Squad. I do not review them because I don't get into I don't get too in depth with them. But I'm guessing they'll I don't think they'll take Harley Quinn off the team right away. But I don't know how they're gonna do that. Like if they're gonna do Harley Quinn is going to be tied into Suicide Squad. Personally, I don't mind if they take Harley Quinn off the Suicide Squad team because I love to see more of, you know, Deadshot or other villains join the Suicide Squad. Then again, I don't like to read it too much. And I love to see Harley Quinn more of a villain and see behind the scenes of a villain in this whole, like, Harley Quinn series. So that's pretty much it, guys. I want to hear your thoughts in the comments section down below. What do you think is going to happen in Harley Quinn issue number zero? And what do you think is going to happen in the series itself? How will it affect Suicide Squad? How will it affect the next return of the Joker? How will this series affect the Joker and Batman mythos and everything related to it? So guys, thank you for watching this episode. Don't forget to click that like button down below. Also, subscribe to my channel for these comic book news, gaming walkthroughs, and everything related to comics. Also, follow me on Twitter. You can tweet me there. I will respond. So once again, thank you for watching. Have a nice day and stay sexy.